Good evening. Uh, welcome to the community meeting. And this is the agenda for today's meeting. I am going to provide introduction to our project team. I'll provide the project overview. We'll talk about the project areas. We'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions and we'll talk about the project timeline. My name is Pratima Pordial and I'm the project manager for this project. My phone number is 817-392-6149 and email is pratima.pordial at phototexas.gov. ANA Consultants is the design engineering firm who is designing this project. Alex Sir and Mark Assad are from ANA Consultants and Alex is present in this meeting tonight. Why um, are we doing this project? Uh, City of Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacement based on several available data, which includes water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection data for the sewer lines, age of the lines, line material, if the line has a lead service is connected to it or not, or if the water lines are the cast iron lines or not. In this project, we are gonna uh, replace the existing water and sewer mains in three different council districts. Um, the area of the replacement is bound by John T. White Road to the north, Blue Carriers Lane to the east, Normandy Road to the south, and Carl Street to the west. Landmarks include Oakland Lake Park, Cobblestone Trail Park, Meadowbrook Golf Course, and John T. White Elementary School. Now we're gonna talk about the different segments in different street, in districts. Uh, the first one is in Council District 4. Uh, um, uh, the segments uh, we are gonna replace in this um, district are in Brainhood Oak Hills Neighborhood Association and neighborhoods of East Fort Worth uh, Neighborhood Association. And this is one of the location where we are gonna replace water and sewer line um, in Council District 4. Uh, the first one is on Rock Hill Court. Here we are gonna replace the water line uh, from Charlotte Street to this cul-de-sac. Uh, from this cul-de-sac to this north, uh, we are gonna replace the sewer line. This line is in easement. On the Charlotte Street uh, from Blue Ridge um, Drive, to Rock Hill Court, we are gonna replace water and sewer board. These are two other segments in Council District 4. This one is a brain on a section on brain to stair. This is about, um, this is um, uh, from about 470 foot uh, north uh, from this intersection. Uh, and we are gonna uh, extend it to 300 feet further north. This is another section that we are gonna replace. Um, and this is uh, starts from here and goes about 180 feet, feet uh, towards Northeast. And we are gonna replace um, on both these sections, these are the water replacements. And Council District 5 um, segments are in John T. White Neighborhood Association and Historic Grand Old Mill Valley Alliance. And these are the lines we are gonna replace in uh, District 5. The first one is the Williams Road. Here we are gonna replace the water line and we are gonna extend the sewer line um, to the John T. White Road. And the other section is on John T. White Road itself. We are gonna replace water and sewer line from Sandy Lane to Blue Carriers Lane. In Council District 8, we are gonna replace um, water and sewer in West Meadowbrook Neighbor, um, Neighborhood Association, Central Meadowbrook uh, Neighborhood Association, and Northwood of East Fort Worth. Sorry, neighborhoods of East Fort Worth. And these are the lines uh, we are gonna replace. The first one is on the Carl Street, where we are gonna replace water and sewer line both and the limit of replacement is from Normandy Road uh, to Manger Street. 
The other section is over here. This is an easement. This small section of sewer is in easement, and we are gonna move the services uh, up, um, from this uh, sewer line uh, to the streets on both sides and going to abandon this sewer section. The another replacement is on ASO Terrace. Um, the limit of replacement is from Normandy Road to Manger Street, and we are gonna replace sewer on the street. The other section is on Holt Road. We are gonna replace water and sewer both, and the limit of replacement is from Campbell Street uh, to Brentwood Stairs Road. Now we are gonna discuss some of the frequently asked questions. The first one is, will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from existing water line to temporary water line. And again, when the service is transferred from temporary water line to the newly installed line, these switchovers are done during the daytime. The contractor will knock on the door and let the customers know when the water will be turned off. Do you need access to our property? Construction will be in the streets and the easements. If City of Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we'll contact you beforehand. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Center sewer service will not be disrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanout provides crews easy access if there is a backup or blockage. The sewer line from the clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will I have access to my driveway? An inspector will be assigned to the project when we are ready to start construction. The inspector and the contractor will work with the residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. Now we'll talk about the timeline of this project. This project is, is still in design phase. We expect to finalize the design and advertise for bids and select the contract before summer of 2023. We'll host another community meeting like this again uh, after we have a contractor on board. If you are interested to find more information about this project, you can go to the website www.phototexas.gov and type the project number 103381 in the search bar. And this page, will, um, and that page will take you to the East Fort Worth Tri-District Water and Sewer Improvement Projects. To get um, project updates, so you can scroll down to the bottom of the uh, web page uh, and click on subscribe to this page. The link to the project summary, frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page as well. If you have any uh, emergency or non-emergency issues, uh, water related, water or sewer related issues, then you can call the number 817-392-4477 and select option one for the emergency issues. This is a 24 hour service. For non-emergency issues, you can call the same number. Um, and the non-emergency hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. from Monday to Friday. You can also download the app, My FW app from the Apple Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main break histories, missing or broken meter leaks, water theft, water violation, no water service, water pressure issues, and any other water sewer related issues through the app as well. Again, my name is Pratima Paudel, and I'm the project manager for this project. My phone number is 817-392-6149 and email is pratima.paudel at phototexas.gov. With that, um, this presentation is complete. If you have any questions, please go ahead and ask. Anybody have any questions? Oh, I also wanted to mention we do um, put this uh, a video of this um, WebEx meeting on that project page, and um, sometimes we create a PDF of PowerPoint and also put it on page. Usually, that is if we did it in person. 
Okay, thank you everybody for attending. Thank you all for attending.